today are in a cage. Cage of nightmares. Cage of sickness. Cage of limitation. Cage of generational curses. Enough is enough right now. Be released from that cage. Be released. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Gary. I'm part of the God's Heart TV team. And it's my privilege today to share a little of the Word of God with you before Brother Chris comes very shortly to join us to pray for you all. So if you have your Bibles, we're going to turn to the Gospel of Mark chapter 10. I'm going to read from verse 46 to 49. As Jesus and his disciples and a large crowd were leaving Jericho, a blind man, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the road begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many told him, be quiet. But he kept shouting all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. They called the blind man, saying, Cheer up, get up, he's calling you. Now today, I want to tell every one of you, Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is still working today. Jesus Christ is as close to you as he was to Bartimaeus. In fact, Jesus' power and effectiveness are even greater today than they were when he was walking those streets with Bartimaeus because Jesus can be in all places at all times through his Holy Spirit. So I want you to say to your neighbor, to someone in the same room, or if you're on your own, say it to the whole world. Jesus is as close to me as he was to Bartimaeus. Now we just read that Bartimaeus was in a large crowd. And yet, his cry caught the attention and commitment of Jesus Christ. The cry of this one man caused Jesus, the Son of God, to stop in his tracks and give his attention. Today, we want to attract the attention and commitment of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the deliverer. Jesus is the one who provides all that we need to live for him. We simply need to attract his attention and his commitment today. So what is the type of cry that attracts Jesus' attention? Was it because Bartimaeus cried louder than anyone else? No. It was a cry of faith and humility. And that attracted Jesus' attention. Today, it is the same. We need to attract Jesus' attention and our connection is through faith and humility. The important connection for you today is not just your connection to this meeting through Zoom or through YouTube. The important connection is that faith connection with Jesus Christ, the healer, the Son of God. So first, we know Bartimaeus' cry was one of faith because he immediately met opposition. 
the people around him said, be quiet, be quiet. But what happened? It increased his determination and he cried the more. Faith thrives on tests. Now, I don't know what your test, what your challenge is today. But I know that the Holy Spirit designs and arranges events so you may learn faith through those challenges. So whether it's been difficult to join this meeting with family problems, technical problems, people, you had to wait a long time to receive the invitation. Whatever kind of challenge, this is part of the journey. Welcome. Come in faith and receive from Jesus today. Now it was also a cry of humility. What did Bartimaeus cry? He said, son of David, have mercy on me. Humility says, I'm a sinner. I deserve judgment. Oh God, have mercy on me. Humility says, I know I don't deserve it. I will be grateful for whatever you provide. Now in contrast, the voice of pride will complain and we'll always ask unnecessary questions. Why? Why? But the voice that Jesus hears is, Son of David, have mercy on me. The voice of faith and humility. So get ready now for your encounter with Jesus Christ through faith. Get ready. As Brother Chris is going to join very shortly to pray for you. Be praying in your heart, Son of David, have mercy on me. The Son of God will stop, as he did with Brian Bartimaeus, and give his attention to the one whose heart is connected through faith and humility. So I simply ask you, as I close this short introduction, be praying right now in your heart. Jesus doesn't need to hear the words of your lips. He will hear your heart. Be praying in your heart for his mercy, for his favor, and just one touch from the Savior, just one touch from the living Jesus Christ, and your life will never be the same again, in Jesus' name. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for the living word of God. And I believe that this message has strengthened your faith today. So as the word of God has dominated your heart right now, people of God, it is time. Time for prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, God listens to us when we pray, but He responds according to the states of our hearts. Is your heart free right now? Free from unforgiveness, bitterness, offense, pain of the past. Because remember this, faith cannot share the same apartment with, with offense and bitterness and resentment. No. So let go of these things right now because of Christ, because of Jesus. Let go of them to prepare your hearts for that touch from heaven you are about to receive right now. Whatever barrier between your spirit and the Holy Spirit, I say be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Maintenant, toute barrière qu'il s'oppose entre vous et l'Esprit de Dieu, soyez élevés, soyez brisés au nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo cualquier barrera entre ustedes y el Espíritu de Dios sea removida en el nombre de Jesús. Any form of iniquity that stands between you and God be forgiven right now. Be forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo cualquier forma de iniquidad que esté entre ustedes y Dios sea perdonada en el nombre de Jesucristo. Toute forme d'iniquité qui s'oppose entre vous et Jésus, soyez pardonnés maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Listen, many people today are in a cage. Cage of nightmares, cage of sickness, cage of limitation, cage of generational curses. Enough is enough right now. Be released from that cage. Be released. Be released. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Muchos hoy están en esa jaula de enfermedad, de limitación, de atadura, de aflicción. Ahora mismo, sé liberado, sé liberado en el nombre de Jesucristo. Beaucoup sont dans des cages, les cages du cauchemar, de la maladie, de la, malédic de la malédiction. Soyez libérés, libérés. Whatever cage the devil has kept you in, knowingly or unknowingly, be set free right now. Freedom, freedom, freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo cualquier jaula en la que te haya puesto Satanás, consciente o inconscientemente, sé libre, sé libre, libertad, libertad en el nombre de Jesús. Peu importe la cage dans laquelle Satan vous a empiégé, que ce soit du cage, soyez libérés au nom de Jésus-Christ. You devil, I say you must leave with your sickness, leave with your bondage, leave with your depression, leave with your nightmare, leave with your generational curses, leave right now, leave them right now. Tu demonio, te digo, fuera con tu enfermedad, fuera con tu aflicción, fuera con tu atadura, fuera, fuera, fuera ahora mismo. Toi, Satan, sors, sors de, de, de leur vie, sors au nom de Jésus-Christ. People of God, I can see God's hand of deliverance right now. I can see God's hand of healing touching you. I can see God's power touching you. Receive, receive, receive from the throne of grace. Peuple de Dieu, je peux voir la main de Dieu vous libérer, la main de Dieu vous guérir. Recevez au nom de Jésus-Christ. Puedo ver la mano de libertad de Jesús, puedo ver la mano de sanidad, así que recibe sanidad, recibe libertad del trono de gracia. Right now, whatever you have eaten from the table of the adversary in your dreams that is causing sickness, bondage, pain, be flushed out right now, out of your system, out of your organs, out of your faculties, vomit it out right now, vomit it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo cualquier cosa que hayas comido de la mesa del enemigo, se ha expulsado, se ha expulsado, vomítalo ahora mismo, vomítalo ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesucristo. Maintenant, tout ce que vous avez mangé à la table de, de l'ennemi dans vos rêves, soyez expulsés, soyez expulsés au nom de Jésus-Christ. People of God, enough is enough to that sickness. Enough is enough to that affliction in your family. As a child of God, divine health is your portion. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Right now, whatever strange pain in your system, I command it to get out right now. Out right now. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Ahora esa enfermedad ya es suficiente para esa enfermedad. Tu cuerpo es el templo del Espíritu Santo. Así que le digo esa enfermedad, fuera, 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 todo dolor extraño, fuera ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesús. 
tout esprit d'infirmité. Partez maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. As an act of faith, I want you to touch any parts of your body where you are experiencing pain right now. Touch that area by faith. The healing anointing of the Holy Spirit has descended. Touch that area right now. Ahora mismo como un acto de fe, pon tu mano donde quiera que tengas ese dolor, esa dolencia, esa enfermedad porque el Espíritu Santo se está moviendo. Maintenant, comme un acte de foi, touchez euh, votre partie de votre corps qui vous fait mal. Maintenant, au nom de Jésus-Christ. I command that sickness, that disease, that infirmity, wherever it is located in your body, to come out right now. Be flushed out. Be flushed out. Be flushed out. Out. Out right now. Ahora mismo donde quiera que se encuentre esa enfermedad, esa aflicción, ese dolor, le ordeno, fuera, fuera, fuera ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesús. Je commande la maladie, peu importe là où elle est, localisée dans votre corps, de sortir maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Continue to touch that part of your body where you are experiencing pain. If you are holding the picture of a family member who was on a sick bed, hold it by faith right now. Hold it and continue in this moment of prayer. Continuez à toucher cette partie de corps qui vous fait mal. Si vous avez la photo d'un membre de famille qui est alité, mettez porter cette photo là et restez dans la foi au nom de Jésus Christ. Ahora mismo toda esa enfermedad, todas esas dolencias, fuera ahora mismo, fuera ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesucristo. Right now, whatever bed Satan has laid for you, be lifted from that bed right now. Be lifted from the bed of sickness. Be lifted from the bed of disease. Be lifted from the bed of affliction, infirmity. Be lifted right now. Maintenant, peu importe le lit dans lequel Satan vous a mis, soyez sortez de ce lit. Soyez sortez de ce lit au nom de Jésus Christ. Ahora mismo de todo el hecho de la enfermedad, todo el hecho de aflicción, todo el hecho de dolencia, levántate ahora mismo de todo ese lecho de dolor, levántate ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesús. I want you to remember your career, your business, your finances right now, because the Spirit of God is here to touch every department of your life. Maintenant, souvenez-vous de votre carrière, de vos affaires, parce que l'Esprit de Dieu est là pour toucher toute euh, zone de votre vie. Ahora mismo reciben el nombre de Jesús. Be released from every yoke of limitation. Be released from every yoke of disappointments. Be released from every yoke of setback. Be released, be released, be released right now. Ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesús, se liberado de todo yugo de limitación, se liberado de todo yugo de desilusión, se liberado de todo yugo de fracaso, se liberado, se liberado en el nombre de Jesucristo. Maintenant, soyez libérés du jus de la limitation, du jus de la, de la déception. Soyez libérés, libérés au nom de Jésus-Christ. By the authority in the scriptures, the living word of God, I proclaim blessing over everything that has to do with you. Receive that breakthrough right now in Jesus' name. Pueblo de Dios, por la autoridad de la palabra de Dios, la autoridad de las escrituras, yo declaro bendición en todo lo que tiene que ver contigo, bendición para todas las áreas de tu vida. Pueblo de Dios, por la autoridad de escritura, yo declaro la percée en vos vidas, en nombre de Jesucristo. Right now, for those of you who have the flag of your nation, I want you to hold it, because you are not only here for yourself, You are here standing on behalf of your family and your nation. So hold that flag right now if you have it. 
Ahora mismo, si tienen la bandera de su país, tómenla, porque ustedes no están aquí solo por ustedes, sino por toda su nación. Tomen la bandera de su país. Peuple de Dieu, prenez le, 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 le drapeau de votre nation. Nous allons prier pour votre nation. Remember your nation in prayer. Remember your leaders in prayer right now. Ask God to help your leaders to seek his hearts that they may see life clearly and administer the affairs of the nation in righteousness. Open your lips and begin to pray for your nation right now. Pray for your country. Pray for your leaders. Pray right now. Pueblo de Dios, recuerda ahora tu nación. Pídele ahora mismo a Dios que Él abra sus corazones, los corazones de los líderes de tu nación, para que busquen el corazón de Dios para ver la vida claramente. Ora por tu nación. Peuple de Dieu, maintenant, priez pour vos chefs d'État. Demandez à Dieu qu'il touche le, leur, leur cœur. Priez pour votre nation, au nom de Jésus-Christ. Remember the scripture that was read earlier about blind Bartimaeus. Remember that after his healing, he followed Jesus on the way. Right now, ask God to strengthen you for the journey of faith ahead, the journey of righteousness, the journey of salvation. Ask him to strengthen you right now. Ask him to strengthen your desire and determination to serve him. Ask right now. Souvenez-vous de Bartimée qui a suivi Jésus après sa guérison. Maintenant, demandez à Dieu de vous fortifier pour la journée, pour le parcours de la foi au nom de Jésus-Christ. Pueblo de Dios, recuerden lo, el capítulo que se leyó anteriormente acerca del ciego Bartimeo. Como él, clamen a Dios en fe y pídanle que Dios los localice con su favor y su misericordia en el nombre de Jesús. By the authority, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are all declared free right now rejoice in your freedom check yourself and rejoice in your freedom rejoice in your deliverance rejoice in your healing rejoice in your testimony Ahora mismo regocíjese porque hoy es el día que Dios ha reescrito la historia de su familia su historia así que regocíjense regocíjense Aujourd'hui est le jour que Jésus a réécrit l'histoire de votre famille. Réjouissez-vous. Viewers all over the world, you have seen the power of God in action. You too can be a partaker because distance is not a barrier to the move of the Holy Spirit. Right now. Whatever prison you are in whether it's on the inside or the outside i proclaim divine rescue in your life right now be rescued from the prison of sickness be rescued from the prison of affliction Be rescued right now from the prison of nightmares, limitation, stagnation. Be rescued, rescued, rescued right now. Be set free from that prison in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the healer. He is the healer of our wounds on the inside and the outside. By his wounds, we are healed. Wherever that wound is located, wherever that pain is located in your life, I declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it emotional pain? Be healed right now. 
Is it physical pain? Be healed right now. Is it financial pain? Be healed right now. Is it spiritual pain? Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it pain of the past? I declare healing in Jesus' name to your hearts. Thank you, Jesus, for your freedom. Thank you, Jesus, for your release. People of God, I can sense God's hand of healing in your life right now. I can sense God's hand of deliverance touching your case right now. Remember, you are healed. You are set free for the salvation of your soul. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Greetings in Jesus' name. My name is Beata. I am from Romania. By the grace of God, I joined the interactive prayer with Brother Chris. The day before the interactive session, while I was preparing my heart in prayer, I received a vision in which Brother Chris opened the book and he began to write things regarding my life in it. The next day during the interactive prayer, while Prophet Chris was praying, I fell under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God touched me and I was trembling, shaking. Before the prayer, I had intense stomach pain. But after the prayer, I experienced instant improvement. Brother Chris also told us that God would rewrite the history of our lives just as I saw it in my vision. Thank you, Brother Chris. May God bless you and uh, God's heart TV. Thank you. Hi, I'm from Jamaica. My name is Colleen. And I was a part of the prayer, interactive prayer with Brother Chris. And while during the prayer, the power of God that reaches me and knocked me to the ground, I could not resist. I didn't, ex I have not experienced anything like this. I've been a Christian for years, all my life, I could say. And I've never experienced this. This in my hand, these are medication that I get from my stomach. And from that time, I'm not feeling any pain in my stomach. Glory to God. See the date. It was recent in June. And glory to God, I feel so happy. I am so happy. I'm so thankful. God bless you, Brother Chris and God's RTV. God bless you. My name is Ijoma. I'm a Nigerian, but I live here in Sao Paulo. I want to thank God that used Brother Chris to relieve me from this acute pain of nail. I have nail, I sustained nail injury years back, which don't enable me to bend down so easily or to go extra miles if I wanted to go. I find it difficult to do exercise, to bend down, or to pick anything, or to do anything, anything that comes to squatting, to bend down, I find it so difficult to do that. So during the prayer section with Brother Chris today, he asked us to touch the place we are feeling pains, which I did touch my two nails. And immediately I started feeling hot sensation at the back of my nails. Then after that, I removed the nail support that I was using. Then I can find that my the pains are no more dear. I can bend down now so easily. I can get up without any problem. I can do like this, which I don't used to do before. If I do it, I'll be feeling pain here. I can do it now. I can, I, I can jump. I can bend as many times as I want. Look at it. Very easy now. And suave. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thank God for this healing. Just God, I want to thank you for using Brother Chris to hear me. I am free now. With this next support, I am not going to use it again. I threw it away because I don't need it anymore. I am free. I am delivered. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Father, for setting me free from the pains 
of many, many years. My name is Kenta Nishiwori from South Africa. During the interactive prayer with Brother Chris, I felt the Holy Spirit fall upon me and I fell down. During the process, I started to breathe in heavily. Then after some moment, I got up just to realize that I am free. I am light. My body is light everywhere it's light. And I can breathe. I used to have a problem with breathing. But after the interactive prayer with Brother Chris, I can breathe. So I would like to say thank you, Brother Chris, for the opportunity. Thank you for praying for me and my family. And may God continue to bless you more and more. And I believe more testimonies are on the way. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Aida Díaz, vivo en España. Y esta tarde, después de la oración interactiva, cuando el hermano Cris oró por todos, recibí liberación. Vomité una sustancia blanquecina. Tenía un dolor en el estómago o el lado derecho. Y ya no está. Me siento liberada, me siento tranquila. Quiero agradecer a Dios por todo lo que ha hecho por nosotros. Agradecer a Dos Hatini y agradecer al hermano Cris. Cuando terminó la transmisión, mi hermano y yo nos quedamos alabando al Señor. Y ella me dijo, Jesús está aquí, lo puedo sentir. Está entre nosotras y sus manos están sobre nuestras cabezas. Así pasó un buen rato y nos siguió ministrando, nosotras llorando y agradecidas por esta hermosa oportunidad. Dios les bendiga grandemente. My name is Kitwa from Zambia, originally from Congo. I'm here to testify of, of the goodness of God. Today I was privileged to be part of the Inter interactive prayers with brother Chris. Uh, in 2015, I was diagnosed with spine degeneration. I was given this neck collar to be putting on time to time whenever I have pains. But today, as the prayers were going on, I just felt the power of God moving all over my body. And I had to remove this neck collar and begin to confess the healing power of God. And I believe that I'm healed because the pain went off. Right now I'm able to, to move my neck without no pain. So I thank God for the prayers and I pray that the miracle shall remain permanent. In Jesus' name, Amen. My name is Shelton. I'm a Zimbabwean who resides in United Arab Emirates. I just want to share my experience with the people of God. After the prayer, on the interactive prayer session today, I felt calmness and a cold sensation which surged through my body. And after that, I was calm because I was always angry with myself. I was always anxious and worried. And after that, I am free. And also, there was a generational disease, uticaria, which was within my family. And after the prayer, it disappeared. I just want to give God all the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My name is Clinton from Zimbabwe. I have a privilege to participate in interactive prayer session with Brother Chris. So as the prayer was going on, I saw two angels. Uh, and then I felt so much heat all over my body and I started to manifest and to manifest so to the glory of God I have omitted poisonous substances so I want to urge you to have faith in God my name is Aaron this is my wife my wife niece my mother-in-law and that her sister so we all join today in the live interactive session prayer with brother Chris. My mother-in-law, sister over there, she said during the live prayer interactive session with brother Chris, she saw a light that came into her and she was start shivering. And that's her own testimony. And my mother-in-law here, she had pain in her knees 
she had pain in her back and during the prayer she heard a little voice that told her that she must free herself from everything and she feel a wind that came over her and make her to sit back in the sofa here and my niece here she had problem with her feet she couldn't stand for long her feet was always swelling up and now she's not feeling anything and she is free she's healed and delivered my wife here during the live interactive session prayer she felt a fire was burning her all over her body and she was trying to remove that fire but she couldn't and she started screaming and by the grace of God she's free she's delivered and she vomit also some poisonous substances that is our testimony we give all glory to God for what he has done thank you Jesus thank you Jesus my name is Joya Diambo and I'm from Kenya uh, I've been suffering from pain on, on both of my arms for almost two years now uh, at the beginning of this year I had to go to the hospital I, it was on January and I had to do an MRI this was the scan of the MRI and I was told that I had torn tendons in my arm and I had to go for physiotherapy but it didn't work this is the medical report I was given this arm sling to support my arm so it, it can minimize the pain but it, it did not work so today when brother Chris was praying I felt something moving in my arm and I this is what I vomited after after the prayer I felt better the pain that I have had for two years it was all gone I felt better and I thank Jesus for my healing I want to thank God for healing me I was feeling pain all over my body I had a headache my toe was swelling my kidneys have been affecting me I was feeling I was just feeling pain all over my body and then when the prophet started praying even before he started praying when I was just in the presence meditating my body started vibrating and during the prayer it started vibrating more and more I felt myself like I was leaving my body and then I started vomiting out some poisonous substances now I'm feeling I'm feeling fine everywhere my toe that was hurting it was even coming out past yesterday is fine my sides my kidneys are not hurting my head is fine and my heart I just feel light I was feeling heavy I just feel light and I feel amazing Mi nombre es José Sorto González. Estuve conectado en la oración interactiva. A los tres minutos de haberme desconectado de la oración, mire lo que ha sucedido. Y ahorita en este momento se lo voy a mostrar. Acabo de vomitar esto. Estaba preparado con el bol para, eh, eh, para esto, pero... No, fue después de la oración y vean lo que he vomitado. Y mi testimonio continúa así. Eh, yo tuve una discusión con un compañero de trabajo, lo cual me amenazó que iba a practicar eh, algo malo contra mí. Y a los días yo recibí un golpe en mi brazo, lo cual no presté atención. Con el tiempo tuve un sueño, lo cual esa persona, eh, yo le brindaba comida. Y cuando esa persona iba a tomar la comida, eh, la mano de esa persona se convertía en serpiente, lo cual... Por eso yo creo que el poder de Dios me visitó y yo tuve la liberación, lo cual eh, vomité eh, sangre, hubo muchas eh, cosas que no eran eh, eh, de Dios que estaban en mi cuerpo. Entonces eh, es, me declaro libre y ese es mi testimonio. Dios le bendiga. My name is Onesimo Dunga from South Africa. By the special grace of God, I had the opportunity to join Brother Chris online interactive prayer session. As, bro as Brother Chris was praying, my body shook. It was shaking and I fell down. Previously, 
I had a, a, a back problem on my right um, um, side of the spinal cord. Um, as he was praying, it was, I, I, I felt a movement in my back. And then after the prayer, I, I just felt so calm. Um, I felt um, free. God has healed me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. My name is Michael and um, I, I want to share my testimony with you. I was having serious pain, severe pain on my right thigh. Uh, but after the prayer by Brother Chris, I got my healing instantly and up till this very day I am doing so well. Uh, also my wife was in that session, uh, she vomited during the, that session and uh, since then she's been sleeping very very well and we want to thank God for all he has done for me and my wife. Thank you so much and God bless you, God bless you brother Chris and the crew of, uh, of this ministry. My name is Jason and my wife Lorna were from the Philippines. First of all, thank you, Jesus Christ, for what you have done today, for remembering us today. Before the prayer session, we, I have this cough for almost a week now, and I can hardly breathe. My, my chest is painful, and after the prayer, I feel relief. No more, I can breathe freely now, no more pain. And the cough is, is gone, and during the prayer, of bro uh, brother Chris when he mentioned that generational curses to be removed I vomited the sub substance a sour substance uh, you can see that there in the wall and after that it's it's easy for me to breathe already my body is light I can I feel happy I, I, I feel the presence of God inside of me Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for everything. Thank you, that's right, that TV. My name is Frida, and I'm from South Africa, Cape Town. And I just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Father, that I was part of the interactive prayer with Brother Chris today. I was delivered from bitterness and pain and hurt of the past. And today I'm set free, and this is what I vomited. Thank you, Jesus. And I just want to thank God for his abundant grace, for remembering me and my family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And since last year, my right hand was very um, sore and painful, but after he prayed for me, my hand is healed in Jesus' name, and the pain is gone. My name is Lizette from Congo. I live in South Africa. I was feeling chest pain on the right hand the side. I was feeling chest pain. First of all, while we are praying, I feel like I feel like cold in my body. I feel like coldness. And then after prayer, I feel so free on the right hands here, on my chest, on the right hands. I feel so free and everything has disappeared. And now I am free. I give glory and honor to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything. Eh, mi nombre es Humberto Torre, mi esposa Graciela aquí a mi lado. Estamos llamando, eh, haciendo este video para testificar de la gracia y la misericordia que Dios ha tenido con nosotros al liberarme de ese espíritu de malos pensamientos y de un espíritu de lujuria. Quiero darle gloria a Dios por eso y estoy agradecido. Bendiciones. Hermano, gracias eh, por las bendiciones recibidas a través de God TV. Le damos gracias a Dios por la liberación que hizo en mi vida de mi dolor, del dolor que tenía en el estómago y las articulaciones. Le doy gracias a Dios porque ya he sido libertada por la sangre de Jesucristo. We thank God for all God has done for us during the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris. Um, during the prayer, my baby here who has been suffering from cold and was finding it difficult to breathe, vomited. This is the vomit. He vomited and he was feeling restless. But just after the vomit, he was able to sleep. So we give thanks to God for locating us 
and we thank God for his mercy, for his grace upon his servants, Brother Chris. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My name is Kishili from India. During the interactive prayer service today with a brother Christ, I started to sensation all of my body, all of my body heat, even my leg, and I can't even control the speed, you can see. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, brother Chris. God use you to deliver me. God use you to heal me. Today, my family and I were opportune to be part of the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris. And as soon as he started rebuking generational cases, I felt pressure on my neck and I vomited. I also felt a sharp sensation on my chest. I fell to the floor and... My hands became numb. I couldn't move them. All to the glory of God, every disease that was inhibiting my body has been flushed out. Amen. Good morning. My name is Emily from the Netherlands. Uh, last week I had an opportunity to pray along with um, Brother Chris uh, on an interactive prayer session. Just before he came on live, I felt my body was moving. Um like it was puffing up like something i felt like something was in my body so when he came on and um, prayed along with him i believed and trusted in the lord and then i vomited poisonous substances i felt so much relief in my chest especially i felt that um peace wonderful peace that i cannot express and now i feel so good i was just reading my bible i feel so free in my chest i'm here to praise the lord for what he has done in my life thank you so much brother chris thank you so much for uh for allowing god to use you in this way god bless you in jesus name i'm free thank you jesus thank you jesus buenos dias mi nombre es juanita garcia y soy de mexico pedí oración interactiva del hermano chris porque yo tenía un problema de hígado graso y me dijeron que a la larga yo podía tener cirrosis también me diagnosticaron un problema entre mi hígado, entre, perdón, entre mi corazón y mi pulmón. He sido libre de una maldición en mi familia, porque mi madre era esquizofrenia. Entonces, yo siempre vivía atormentada, pero hoy sé que soy libre en el nombre de Jesús. Hoy yo me siento, me siento muy bien, porque como que todo el tiempo estaba agachada, agotada y cansada. Hoy sé que es Tengo la fortaleza de Cristo, soy sana, doy gracias a Dios y bendigo la vida del hermano Chris. Gracias Jesús. My name is Christine. I am from Kenya. By God's grace, I was in the Saturday's interactive prayer and God touched me. Immediately I logged in, even before the prayers officially started. The Holy Spirit just came upon me and I was manifesting. Things in me were speaking and I was shaking uncontrollably. I started vomiting. Even after the prayers ended, I took a nap and when I woke up, I was still shaking uncontrollably. I really thank God. I love him so much and I glorify his name for this wonderful experience and i know that my life will never ever be the same again praise god almighty hello people of god my name is pal seguena i'm from south africa i just recently joined the live with uh, past, uh brother chris yeah i saw lord's hand over my life like i vomited stuff that i did not even eat I feel refreshed. I'm so happy right now. Like I, I, I literally felt God's hand upon me and I feel very blessed. I pray that God continues uh, blessing Brother Chris to keep on doing the Lord's way. Thank you so much. I am so happy. <laughs> I feel new. I feel fresh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. My name is Navatans Jamila from Turkey. 
I had a problem of a knee. My left knee was too painful. I couldn't sleep on my left side. I couldn't sit for so long. And sometimes I could fail to walk. But when man of God prayed with us on an interactive prayer, I can now sleep on my left side like a baby without any pain. I can even sit for so long. I can even stand for so long without any pain. I thank Jesus Christ so much for healing me. Wherever I could eat, I could feel pain. And I had pain in my lower abdomen. After the interactive prayer on Saturday, I no longer feel pain in my lower abdomen. I'm free and delivered. I thank Jesus Christ so much. We were the family of Raganas. This is my husband. He has so much pain in his body because he has working as a construction worker. So he has so much pain. And then the friar is there. He also participated. And then now he feels his body is good. He can stand up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I thank God for my healing of my ear pain and my soreness on the head and the uh, bump that was under there is completely gone. I thank God for that. And also my memory and my focus and my brain. I thank God for that. A complete healing in Jesus' name. My name is Kathy Monga from Tanzania. I'm so happy to be because I was part of interactive peer session with my Chris. I reached out to the TV because of speed of anger, setback, and failure. During interactive prayer sessions with Chris, I fell under anointing. My body started moving in Voluta. I could hear him praying, but I could not control my body from moving. Then I started vomiting during the prayer. Soon after prayer, I felt so much light in my body. I feel so much peace, and I'm so happy for the deliverance. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for the deliverance. My name is Nana CBC in South Africa, Deben, in an area called Mlazi. When the man of God started praying, I had an urge to cough, and I had to spit out mucus a couple of times, and uh, it had some tough particles in it. Thereafter, when he said we must lay our hands on an area where there is pain, I laid my hand on my chest, and my heart, it felt like some, some hand was squeezing it softly, one, two, three. And thereafter, it was like some, something left my heart. And I felt light and relief. I thank God for this deliverance, not only for me, but for my family as well. Thank you, Jesus. I'm Salman Nathan, and I'm 21 years old from Malaysia. What we, we felt during the prayer meeting was that my mom, my sister, my aunt, and myself, we were all praying for our own specific needs. But during that time of prayer, my mom was immediately overflowed with the spirit. She was lifting up her hands and she was like praising to God. But for me, on Monday, I literally felt the presence of God with me. When I was doing my exams, I thought I was not prepared. I was so afraid of it. Yet when I was doing the exam, the exam that I was doing for, supposed to be doing for two hours, I was immediately feeling God's grace and, and his wisdom imparting upon me, pouring upon me that I was able to do two hours worth of exam paper in 56 minutes, completed, all the answers were correct. And I want to praise God that with just, a, just one session with in that interactive prayer group, there was some changes in my spiritual life. And I thank you so much. Thank you and God bless you. My name is Richard Etimo Ado from Ghana. I was having a severe back pain at my back for two to three years. And during the prayer, I felt the power of God touch me and the pain disappeared. And now I am free and I don't feel the pain now. I can exercise my body. I couldn't do this before. But now I am free to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. My name is Adelaide Mbofu. I'm a Zimbabwean residing in South Africa. 
Today I was privileged by the grace of God to be part of the interactive prayer session with the man of God, Brother Chris. And oh my God, I can heartily say thank you, Jesus. When the man of God, Brother Chris, started ministering prayer, I just felt the inside of me, everything within me was vibrating, shaking vigorously. And before I knew it, my whole body was physically shaking, vibrating, and I was all over the place. And before I knew it, I just found myself on the ground. And I rose up to the glory of God and I continued praying. But now I could not stand on my feet. So I just remained on my knees and continued connecting to the prayer. And this time around in a different dimension, my body started shaking again, shaking uncontrollably. And I found myself on the ground again. And <laughs> to the glory of God, I got up and I know that my case is settled. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for more glorious answers to my prayers. During the interactive prayer, I felt a warmth coming over me, a kind of warm um, feeling. And I started formating with this substance, very thick, make, mixed with some traces of blood. After the prayer, I feel much better. I feel relieved. And I give God the glory. I know from this day forward, my children, myself, my family will not remain the same because Jesus has visited us today. And I have felt the touch of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing me. Thank you. God has TV. Mi nombre es Valeria. Soy de Costa Rica. A través de la oración del hermano Chris, el poder de Dios cayó sobre mí liberando profundamente varias veces muchas cosas de mi vida quiero agradecer al equipo y al hermano Chris por esta oración y esta experiencia My name is Rich Moses from Zambia I thank God for what he has done in my life I used to have a problem of having this part of my right hand side could not be work properly I used to have a pain on my inguino here. This pain it used to make sure that it used to be very pain, whereby it used to extend to the scrotum here. So I couldn't even put on the belt. Since now I'm mute, I'm going to buy a belt now so that I can put it. I thank God for my prophet for Brother Chris to heal. In the, before that, I never used to lift anything now. I can lift this right hand side and I can lift this 18.5 liters on this right hand side. I thank God. I thank God. Before that, I can't do that. And before that, I used to have a pain on the knee, in the right knee. Now, today, I can even do that. There's no pain. Mm -hmm. I can even do exercise. Thank you, Lord. I thank God. God is with us. Thank you very much. Thank Amen. you, Brother Chris. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Noptula Koza from South Africa. I want to thank God for what he has done for us today, me and my family. I used to have a pain since last year, November, if it's not October. I couldn't lift heavy things because of my hand was paining here. But as I was praying with Brother Chris, the pain is no more. I'm no longer feeling the pain. My mother, she has bumps on her legs. And then she said they were paining. But as we are also praying now, she says they are no longer paining as she's pressing them. So we want to thank you for Jesus for what he has done for us today in Jesus name. Thank you.